Thank you very much, Ambassador Park. And uh, last year, I also joined in this panel uh, workshop. And I, this year, again, I'm very glad to be included in this room. Uh, or I should say that uh, I'm very glad that Japan is also included in this room. I just remember that last year, the situation is quite same. Uh, I remember that I was the last speaker, perhaps. And, uh, uh, well, I saw many faces who have been waiting for two hours to ask question or comment. And uh, Ambassador Park told me that I have only seven minutes or six minutes <laughs> to comment. And uh, uh, I have to brief. I mean, maybe this year as well, maybe I have to be brief <laughs> to, uh, to go to the question and answer session. Uh, of course, uh, China and uh, perhaps uh, United States, of course, are uh, two elephants in a room in East Asia. And uh, Japan is not equal to these two giants. But I would say that Japan is perhaps one of the most influential players in the region. Or Prime Minister Abe is becoming uh, perhaps the most influential player in the region. One of the region, one of the reasons for that is that his quite close relationship or friendship with President Trump. And I think it's quite exceptional to be such a close uh, 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 person to President Trump. And uh, of course, I would suppose that President Trump cannot sit in a room for three hours to dis discuss something quite serious, like we are doing in this room for three hours. So that's why the best way to talk with President Trump is to play golf. And tomorrow, Prime Minister Abe will play golf with President Trump in Japan. And uh, I think that they will spend more, more than several hours together. And uh, of course, in the meantime, Prime Minister Abe will talk and inform so many things about East Asian security international relations as he did in Florida in this year, February. And in February in this year, in the beginning of this year, he played a golf as well uh, with President Trump. And Prime Minister Abe informed so many things about China, about Russia, about North Korea, or everything, so many things. Because uh, President Trump, had no serious experience in politics beforehand. That's why he wanted to know some personalities such as President Xi Jinping, or, Pre Pre or President Putin, or some other readers, because uh, Prime Minister Abe met with President Putin 20 times at a summit meeting. And of course, uh, Prime Minister Abe met with President Xi Jinping many times as well. But that's why I think that it is quite useful for President Trump to talk uh, with uh, Prime Minister Abe on various issues of world affairs. And I, I, what I will want to talk about is Japanese approach to the rise of China. Of course, rise of China is uh, one of the most significant event which Japanese politics has faced recently. And Japan is uh, now approaching to the issue in two ways. One way is now uh, Japan is trying to improve its relationship with China. Last year in this workshop, I predicted that the Sino-Japanese relation would be improved. And I, I'm afraid, I was afraid that I was wrong, but I think that I was not wrong because uh, uh, in the last one years, there were, there were four foreign ministers meetings and two summit meetings. And between 2012 until 2014, there were no summit meeting between two countries. But after 2014, uh, for three years, there were four times summit meeting between the two leaders, Prime Minister Abe and President Xi Jinping. So it's easy to understand that two leaders are trying to overcome some difficulties, regardless of the existence of territorial issues uh, with, some, with some other difficult issues. But uh, they, I think, are both, as I said last year, quite pragmatist, and uh, they fully understand the importance of better relationship between the two countries. That's why recently two leaders began to say that Japan and China are number two and the number three biggest economy in the world. So it is essential for the two countries, and it is also really responsible for the two leaders to make a stable, peaceful, regional order in the region. That's why I think that uh, the, 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 the trend continues even next year as well. 
the two leaders with much more po powerful political base. I think that they will continue to improve the relationship between the two countries. And uh, the other approach which Prime Minister Abe is taking is to create democratic diamond, which Prime Minister Abe uh, proposed in December 2012 uh, uh, According to Abe, Asia's democratic security diamond has four powers, United States, Japan, and Australia, and India. And according to Prime Minister Abe, the four democracies should cooperate more, particularly on security issues. By cooperating much deeply, much more deeply, the, three, the four countries, United States, Japan, India, and Australia, can create a much more stable, peaceful in the Pacific region. Uh, they are using a new regional concept of the Indo-Pacific, and they are trying to consolidate the norm, such as, of course, uh, freedom of navigation, and uh, as, uh, in some ways, human rights and democracy, and so on. So that's why I think that, in addition to uh, improving uh, bilateral relationship between Japan and China, I think. Prime Minister Abe is trying to create this kind of uh, league of democracies or uh, Asia security uh, democratic diamond. And I think that in the coming summit meeting between Prime Minister Abe and Pre President Trump uh, within a few days, two leaders, I think, will propose much more concrete vision of this regional order. Sorry. And, uh, well, then i like to point out uh, within a few minutes uh, before ending uh, uh, that there exist two regional concepts. One regional concept is uh, defended by China, Chinese government. Of course, this is uh, Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, and this continental or Eurasian vision is strongly sp supported by Russia. And the two great powers, Russia and China, are trying to create a continental uh, a more or less international order uh, based upon a very strong Chinese uh, power. And the other regional vision is uh, defended uh, by United States, US-centric in the Pacific order, or previously it is often called as liberal international order. Of course, this is focusing on the importance of freedom of navigation in the sea, but uh, this is becoming more and more difficult because of the Trump, President Trump, because President Trump has been showing much more inward-looking uh, vision of the world. And that's why, uh, without strong American commitment, I think that uh, Japan has to change a previous strategy to the region by uh, creating like TPP without the United States. So without the United States is a new trend in the regional vision of Japan because uh, uh, it depends on the United States, the will of the President Trump, whether the uh, you know, United States is intending to join in that kind of regional order. And of course, Japanese government is always trying to invite the United States to come back or to uh, join in this kind of regional framework. So in the end, i like to uh, uh, conclude my talk by saying that uh, even though there are two regional visions, it is also very important to bridge two regional visions. We do not have to see the new Cold War between the two blocks. And two blocks are different from Cold War blocks. Uh, there are some overlapping, like uh, Indian and Australia are joining in some of uh, Chinese initiatives such as AIB. And uh, Japanese Prime Minister Abe recently uh, uh, supported uh, the idea of uh, Belt and Road Initiative. So that's why I think that there are many rooms to collaborate between the two regional visions. And of course, uh, there are some overlapping. And I think one of the most important Japanese strategies is try to combine two different blocks of regional order as much as possible, but at the same time, it is essential for Japanese prime minister or Japanese government to try to buy, oh, this is yes, <laughs> to try to invite the United States to come back to the regional order as a leader of this region. Thank you very much.